everybody, welcome to another dope episode of the Mythos Collective. Guys, today we're talking about my dread update. I've had a lot of people give me questions on the internet, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, asking me questions about how long I've had it, all this other stuff. So we're going to get to that and we're going to do a 360. Questions. Number one, someone asked me the question, how do I get my hair in a ponytail like this? Well, to answer that question, it requires me to help you understand that first your hair has to be long enough. Uh, once your hair is long enough, then you're going to be able to really just take it up and put it down however you want. What you do is you get a scrunchie uh, or a hairband or whatever you call it. It has to be large enough. So the one I have here is about this big. And this is about how big it needs to be. And all you do is take it, you wrap it around once this way so now it's smaller. Take your hair, you get it from the very top, from the scalp back like this. Tie it up right here in the back. You grab it, boom, tie it down. It's done. There you go. And so that's that's something I wanted to get out the way uh, first and foremost. When did I start my dreads? I started them uh, when uh, two years ago, two years and three months ago. My hair was about three or four inches long, and uh, I started it by twist, uh, comb twist. Um, I didn't do the sponge. I didn't do it like that. I didn't do free form. I literally grew my afro out. I went to the barber shop and got my sides cut. And when I did that, that's when I had my sister, whom you have seen already, and you can click on the video up here to see her retwist my dreads. She's the one that actually did the, the twist for me, and, and that's when it grew out from there. So yes, that's how I got that done. Another question that I saw was, how long do I want my dreads to get? That is a great question. And a question that I've been debating on for a very long time. I personally would like to get my dread down to my shoulders. I really don't want to get them any longer than that. I don't really see a reason to have them down my back or anything. But once again, this is a journey, which means I don't know the destination. And that's important. Don't always plan around it, guys. Sometimes you just gotta let it grow and let it go. Just see where it, where it ends up. I mean, it can end up down my back, down my legs, I don't know. But my goal right now is just to have it to my shoulders. I'm, I'm cool with just my shoulders. Now for the 360. By the way, I got, I got a new ring light. I don't know if you can tell, but the, it's a lot brighter now than it used to be. I wanted to make sure y'all could see me. A, hey, like that. All right, so here we go. Dreadlock 360. So this is the front. Here's the side. Want to make sure you guys can see that. Other side. And then uh, the back. Right there. Okay, now I'm going to take my uh, ponytail down. So here we go. The length is real, guys. Seriously, I mean, it takes time to get out that ugly stage, but it happens, man. Okay. Um, yeah, I feel like it, I feel like it's about all the way down. Yeah, this is how now this is how long my hair is, guys. You gotta go look at my old videos, man. Like this is serious growth, and it takes time and effort, but you can get there. So here it is. Uh, my hair is about six inches long now. Of course, they're all you know different lengths depending on where you are. The front of the head is a little shorter than the sides, but this is uh this is basically it. All right. Okay, so front. Side, this side, I want to make sure you guys can see it, and then the, the back. Yeah guys, so I got a little bit of hang time now. When uh, Back when they were younger, uh, my hair was younger, it wasn't a whole lot at all. Um, it took months, man. I mean, it takes a long time to get it down to your neck. As you can see now, it's touching my neck. It goes over my shoulder sometimes when I'm standing in the, in the right position, the right place. So it, it takes a lot of work and a lot of time, but hopefully you guys are patient enough to wait on it. For those of you that ha your hair is way longer than mine, first of all, congratulations. Second of all, I, you inspire me. Somebody that inspires me a lot actually, and I never talk about this on the channel, but I have a few inspirations that really make me feel great about my dreads. And one of which is Gunther the Great. I don't know if you guys ever watched any of his videos. Um, please do. Gunther the Great, I can put it up right here. But man, his hair, man, it, like, and I watched it grow from a very short size. In fact, I remember watching his first video and I was like, man, this guy's hair is really nice. Like it was nice even when it was short. 
But as I kept watching his videos, I was into his hair at first, but his vlogs started becoming more fun and entertaining. So I was there for the vlogs, but his hair, man, it's down like here now. And he's grown so much as a person and he's married now and he's just been doing awesome. So shout out to him. He's been doing great and um, I really like him. He's really cool. He's a great inspiration and not locks. I've been watching not locks since he had his first set of dreads, which was like down his back. If you haven't seen Not Locks that long ago, go to his YouTube page, Not Nation, and go all the way back. Watch his oldest videos. It's, it's really significant. Um, and that's something I want you all to do. Here's an experiment. I want you to go to all your favorite dreadlock YouTubers, and I want you to go to the oldest video you can find. The oldest video. Because that's when you can really see the progress. Lex Lanson, another great inspiration. He has since cut his dreads, but let me tell you something. Those dreads were dope, and I remember his first video, and he grew them out for three years. Guys, go watch the oldest video of your favorite YouTubers. You will not be any more surprised, um, because once again, you don't really get how long it takes to grow your hair out. It takes a long time, and it takes a lot of patience, and it takes a lot of encouragement. So hopefully all of you out there, ladies and men, you keep growing your dreads out. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise. Thank you so much for watching this video. I got some more vlogs coming through soon. Um, not just hair videos, actual vlogs. So hopefully I can do more of that for you all. I know you guys like those. <laughs> right? I think you do. I hope you do. I do a lot of them. Uh, if you want more hair videos, let me know. Of course, subscribe, like, share, all that great stuff. We're almost at 200 subscribers. Thanks so much for that. Uh, and when we hit 200 subscribers, I'm going to do something dope. I'm going to have a little party, a little soiree. Hey, I don't know. Maybe eat some hot peppers or something. But thank you guys so much for sticking around uh, through this journey. And uh, if you're from Facebook or you're from YouTube or you found me from Instagram or Twitter, wherever, thank you so much for joining me here. And uh, I hope you guys have a great day, a better tomorrow. God bless. I'll see you guys later.